At the end of the second century, the later Han Dynasty was approaching its end. It was a time of war, beginning with a popular uprising known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. It was during this time that one provincial governor came to prominence. His name was Dong Zhuo. Taking advantage of the turbulence surrounding the plot to exterminate the palace units, Dong Zhuo seized power and began a reign of tyranny. In response, the governors formed an alliance and moved to overthrow him. Among the many heroes to march for the Alliance were an ambitious Cao Cao and his officer Shao Du. In my position, as a descendant of Confucius, I cannot allow Dong Zhuo's villainy. I'm pleased to hear that. As leader of the White Riders, I promise you that the victory will belong to us. Hmm. <laughs> Is this why each of these great lords gathered to brag about himself? They are fools. Cousin, is it really worth our while to take their side? The name Cao Cao will know renown all across the land. That's reason enough for now. But I require help from others in order for my plan to succeed. I am depending upon you. Have I ever disappointed you? There is no need to worry. I shall cut you a path to fame and glory. shall destroy the traitor and his ilk. Forward, it is up to us to restore order to the Han. So, you are next. I'll crush you. Now you're mine. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Learn how wrong you truly are! Another 
Another victim has fallen to my plane. Another victim has fallen to my plane. Save the Han and we shirk from this duty. Loyal people of the Han, let us fight. Another victim has fallen to my plane. Yeah. 
succeeded in deposing Dong Zhuo, and each soon began plotting to take power for themselves. Cao Cao took the emperor into custody to keep him out of political matters, and set up Xu Chang as his prince, intent on steadily strengthening his position there. Liu Bei, who had also participated in the fight to bring down Dong Zhuo, paid a visit to Cao Cao to tell him that he had been entrusted with Xu province by Yang Qian, who had lost to Lu Bu in battle. Cao Cao agreed to Liu Bei's request to join forces and immediately sent troops to Xia Pu. Cousin, why must we give aid to a person like Liu Bei? I know that there is a dragon hiding behind his gentle manners and quick smile. When the dragon emerges, it will join its forces with mine or the dragon's fated to be destroyed. I'd find that very pleasant. Still, if they will fight Lu Bu for us, I must give them my thanks. Come now, Du. Is something wrong? You're not concentrating on the game. Losing at Go does not mean that I will lose in battle. 